a lot of times first time authors or people have, that have never written a book, sometimes they lack confidence to go forward because they're not clear on their why. They're not clear on the process. So even if you don't understand the process, if you understand your why, it will help you to go forward with confidence. Now, the second thing that I want to cover is environment. Environment is, is really, really important because when it comes to anybody's success, 10% of a person's success is from their mindset. 50% of their success comes from their environment and 40% comes from their skill set. So again, 10% is their, their skill set, 40% is their mindset, but 50% is their environment. So when a person wants to do something, even if they have the skill set, even if they have the mindset, the majority of their success is still gonna come from their environment, which most people never take into consideration. Because you think about somebody who has a phenomenal book idea that can help millions of people and make them a lot of money in the process. If they have the skills to write, if they have the motivation and the desire to write, but you put them in a room with paper all over the place, you know, uh, books that would torn out pages and mold and, you know, loud music, TVs on, all of these different distractions, they cannot think because that environment is not conducive to the success that they need in order to put all of their bright ideas to work. So having a successful environment is essentially one of the best ways that you can set yourself up to write a book and be successful because it allow your, your thoughts and your writing to, to flow. So again, the first thing is clarity. Second thing is environment and really making sure that you, if at all possible, have a designated area where you can write consistently and the environment is clear from clutter. Because a lot of times when we're doing something for the first time, we do what I call creative avoidance. Because we're intimidated by something that we've never done before, we think about all of these different things for us to do, you know, whether that's um, something in our car or something in our room, whatever the case may be, things that we hadn't thought about until we start sitting down to write this book. And it's called creative avoidance. We creatively find ways to avoid this process that we're not familiar with because it, it kind of provides some uncertainty that, that we're not familiar with. And it causes us to be, um, to have a lack of confidence, if you will, in certain areas. And that's okay, because it's not always about how much confidence you have, it's also about how much faith in you have to overcome the lack of confidence that what you're working on is gonna to come to pass.